All right, y'all. This here's the Ford man. Coming back to you again. Well, today I figured we'd do a review, walk around video of the big and bad Bobcat Predator Pro 7000. This is their latest and greatest. This is the second generation 2019 model. In fact, it was produced barely, if even a month ago. That's how new this thing is. So, this has um, Hydro Gears ZT5400 series two stage transaxles. And it's got a 61 inch Air FX deck. Kawasaki FX1000V, 35 horsepower. Kawasaki's biggest and baddest. So, you heard me mention two speed. That's what that little green pedal down there on the floorboard's for. So, we have a saying around here. That pedal has a really awesome name to it. One which I will not divulge, but I will say in a more nicer way. We call it the heck yeah pedal. So, the top speed of this thing is industry leading. It's the fastest zero turn on the market. You can't get anything else faster unless maybe you modify it. But from the factory, this thing has a top transport speed of 19 miles per hour. That is four miles per hour, sorry, three miles per hour faster than the Skag Cheetah. Regular mowing speeds are zero to 13, and zero to five in reverse. Transport speeds are 13 to 19, and five to seven and a half in reverse. So, pretty stupid fast. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the features. There's a lot going on here. Bobcat, they poured their heart and soul in this thing. So this thing is a lot of zero turn for the money. So under here, you lift this deck floor up, the floor pan, gives you full access to the deck. Six bolt beefy cast iron mandrels. Decent size idler pulleys, 5 8 belts. You've got these ISO mounts here that the floor pan rides on. Gives you a bit of a cushion. Oh yeah, I've also got uh, rubber mounts here in the front of it. For the deck height, you've got this nice system here which is different from their most other models. So to change it, just pick up, pull pin, shove in, drop, done. Simple, and it stays right there. This one's also uh, handle assist. So when you're pushing down the foot pedal, let's say you're not strong enough to do that, well you can just pull on this handle at the same time and manhandle the deck up into transport height. Also, the other nice thing about it is it will not automatically latch because it'll stop roughly around here, the handle will, and then you have to pull the handle the rest of the way to get it to actually lock in the transport height, which is, again, nice and what Bobcats are, in my opinion, fairly well known for, and it, well, at least to me anyway. <laughs> uh, the foot pedal is adjustable by turning this knob down here, so if you need to move the pedal closer to the operator or in its current position, which for me works perfectly. So the deck is going to be the Air FX, which is Bobcat's top of the line. The front leading edge, of course, is a bull nose design. You've got adjustable front leading edge baffles, which you can raise and lower depending on cutting conditions. You've also got baffles underneath there that are unboltable and replaceable all on the front. All those baffles over there, they bolt on. So if you damage them over the course of this thing's life, you can just go ahead and replace them. Not a big deal. Big boy cast iron mandrels, quarter inch thick blades, it's all there. Of course, polypropylene discharge chute. Every Bobcat's got that. Wish it was rubber, but that's okay. pulley guard covers of course you can remove the knob here to 
gain easy access to the pulley and you can pop this cap off to gain access to the mandrel bolt to change your blades if need be. Dual fuel tanks, 15 gallons total, 7.5 gallons per tank. This thing has got a really nice operator command center. Kind of get up on here a bit. So everything is at your fingertips. On your left quadrant, kind of give you a bird's eye view here. On your left quadrant, you got your fuel gauge for the left tank, power port. You can plug in whatever you want, 12 volt socket, cigarette lighter if you smoke. I mean, if that's your thing, you know, whatever. Uh, your fuel tank selector is right here, which is really nice. You don't have to go reaching way back behind you and go all the way down here to go change a valve or way back over in here or what have you. It's right there. So that's nice. And then we'll go on over here to the right quadrant. So over on this side, you've got your ignition switch, you've got your throttle, choke, PTO, of course, fuel gauge for the right tank hour meter and then this one you've also got your switch for your LED headlamp yeah it's got an LED headlamp which you might have saw in the beginning that turns that on and off too so to control your deck you just push on the pedal or you can pull on this too pop this up drop her down and that's as far as that will go without auto latching unless you pull it back the rest of the way. So, and of course the deck is spring assisted, which let's be honest, it's stupid heavy, so you kinda need that, which most all zero turns are spring assisted. Um, controls, so your traction levers, they're gonna be rubber. They're kind of an acorn, not acorn, uh, almond shaped kind of give you a little more, bit more of an ergonomic feel when you're grabbing onto this thing. Uh, they are easily adjustable. So on the other side of this, there's a nut. All you do is just loosen this here nut. And then you can move it fore and aft, up and down, etc., etc. And you can make it fit to your customization. Same thing with the deck pedal. So. And then over here, you got your parking brake. And then you've got your adjustment knobs for forward tracking. Same thing on both sides. So if it ever starts to veer one way or the other, you just adjust those knobs till it starts tracking straight again. Heck yeah pedal. That's heck yeah, and that's so-so. <laughs> um, let's see. What else? Oh yeah, the frame. So let's look at the frame on this thing. The frame is a dual tube construction. If you look at it here, you'll see there's, well, four tubes. You got your main ones and then you got your inner ones for extra strength. The whole front clip is bolted on. So if you screw up, I mean royally screw up the front of this, let's say you're doing 19 miles an hour, you, you're just I don't know, let's say you're drunk, maybe. I don't know. And you just, you cream something with it. Well, you're going to screw up this front here, obviously. Well, Bobcat thought of all that. They thought of uh, modular design, which is really brilliant, honestly. Because normally what you'd have to do is you'd have to straighten or cut off or, or what have you if you're going to fix the frame. Or you just have to replace the whole frame. And, I mean, at that point, the zero turn is pretty much totaled because that's a lot of work. But not on the Bobcat, all you have to do is just unbolt the bolts, pull the front end off, order you a new basically front clip, bolt her back on and you're ready to rock. So that is a really awesome design. So, and the deck is going to be a seven gauge deck with seven gauge and quarter inch steel reinforcing and all that good stuff everywhere. See if I can get the seat flipped up here. So this is gonna be your seat release lever. 
tilt that over to here and see if I can manhandle this thing up. Ooh, this is a heavy seat. <laughs> okay. And up that goes. <clears throat> Got your manual tube here, which is nice. So down here you can see you've got the transaxle cooling fan covers, custom covers. You can see they got the Bobcat uh, logos cut into it. That's pretty cool. It's a nice little touch. Um, you got your sealed AGM type battery. You see the back side of your deck back there. Um, and show you these beefy transaxles under here. So, and as far as warranty, it's going to have a lifetime uh, frame, deck, uh, engine cradle, all that's lifetime. As far as overall warranty, you're going to have a six year, 2,750 hour overall warranty. It's one of the longest warranties in the industry. Uh, of course, Kawasaki has their own three year warranty on the engine. But a lot of zero turn so normally the price on this model is 15 2 but we have it on sale right now so you can get into this big bad zero turn for not 15 2 but you can get into her for mm, 12 5 that's not bad, right? That's cheaper than a Skag Cheetah. And it's faster. Heck, it's just all around better. <laughs> so, I think I pretty well covered everything on it. It's a lot of zero turn. Um, I might fire it up and go take it over to the, near the road and show you a top speed run on this thing. In fact, that sounds kind of awesome because let's be honest, I do that every so often just because it's fun. <laughs> so, but, uh, you know what? We'll do just that. Okay, so now I'm on my, my little runway here. I'm going to show you just what this pedal can do for you. Let's get some full throttle action going on. Oh yeah, that's nice and fast. <laughs> All right, y'all. Come get yourself a beast of a zero turn. Come see me at Clinch Tractor, 6606 Alma Highway in Van Buren, Arkansas, 479-632-2300. This here's the Ford Man, signing off.